Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's Mary, and I'm here with a very special, exclusive edition of Love After Lockup, Life After Lockup, Love During Lockup, Word on the Street. In case you haven't heard, Mocha is a big, fat scammer. This is part two. Let's hop right in. So last week, I did an article and a video covering why Mocha is a big, fat scammer, part one. So I was focusing on the events of the day that Mocha was interviewing on Lord Lucan's channel. And we all know what occurred. There was a shooting and a man lost his life. As of press time, Mocha is not facing any charges, but to make a long story short, his postings on social media raised red flags for me. Check out my video covering part one to see why. And I did a little digging, my own research, and I opened up a huge can of worms, huge. I mean, a commercial sized fishing boat wouldn't be able to handle this can of worms that I opened, but hey, I'm dealing with it because these women deserve to have their stories heard. But Mr. Montana Mills, on the other hand, within the first, I don't know, 30 minutes or so of me posting my part one story to Kiki and Kibbit's Instagram, Mr. Montana Mills had a comment and he says it's a false narrative. And you know something? I am taking it personally because I feel like he is not giving me a fair chance. It was only part one. And he made a comment publicly on my Instagram page stating it was a false narrative. I've had him on my show doing a recap with me. I had Justine on my show doing a recap with me. And Brianna and I interviewed them. So Mr. Montana Mills, if you felt like it was a false narrative, we could have agreed to disagree, could have sent me a DM, we could have talked, but you felt like doing publicly, so I'm doing this publicly. So let's see, do you still feel like it's a false narrative by the end of my part two? Let me know. So this was the scene where a man lost his life. Mocha was holding a YouTube interview in the backyard of his girlfriend Bree's house. Now Bree was hiding a secret. She was in a relationship with Mocha, but she was playing both sides with the victim, Lindor. Lindor did not know that she was in a relationship with Mocha. And you know, Bree was kind of playing both sides and Lindor would do her a favor when she was out of town. Lindor would go by her house make sure, you know, everything was okay, check the mail, et cetera, et cetera. Lindor thought Bree was going to be out of town that day. So Mocha is sitting in the backyard, pictured here, giving his YouTube interview. Lindor and Bree are arguing in the front of the house for an extended period of time. Lindor did kick the doors down. Yes, he did. Came into the backyard with a bat in his hand and confronted Mocha. Mocha shot him three times. As of press time, Mocha is not facing any charges. This is the victim, Lindor Conrad Coney. Now, according to people that I've spoke to, Lindor was a great guy. He was the guy that you wanted to be around, smiling, kind-hearted, everybody loved him. This is the woman, Bree. She actually was in the crowd on the season finale of Life After Lockup when Mike was performing on stage. Check her out. Now, Bree was in a complicated relationship with Mocha. Within the first couple of months, he asked to borrow $7,000 from her. And her friend was like, what the hell? Why is he asking to borrow money from you? And at the time, he was going to Turkey and he was taking Brie with, with him. And her friend said, 
Are you financing this trip with your $7,000? And Bree said, no, he wants to buy a pinky ring with it. Now, what is a grown ass man doing borrowing $7,000 from a woman that he's only been dating for a few months to buy jewelry, especially if you're a big time music producer, just asking for a friend. So now I'm showing messages that Mocha sent to Brie. The messages on the left are basically Mocha ripping into Brie for her social media activity because another woman is stalking Brie's Facebook and noticing certain patterns and pictures that she's putting up and taking down and et cetera. So if you read these messages, Mocha's basically telling Brie, you're screwing up my game. Stop it. You're going to get me killed. But then on the right, she's dealing with messages like this. Oh, sweet. Do you want to have a baby blast? Seems like Mocha's MO is asking the woman that he's talking to to have his baby. More on that later. So now we have this Canadian TikToker. She hit me up slid into my DMs. At first, she felt like she wasn't being scammed by Mocha, but then she started seeing all the things coming out, sat back, thought a little bit and said, wow, it's a good thing I listened to my gut. At the time, my daughter was cold feet, but she listened to her gut, guys. Mocha was trying to, you know, finesse her, sweet talk her, and she was going to go to Vegas. And who knows? how much money she would have gave him, what he would have talked her into, who knows what the hell would have happened. But hey, check this out. This is golden. Mocha showing off a little bit of hardware. Bye, Justine. Yeah, Justine, can I ask another question? Wait, yeah. hold on, before, before you leave. Now, this is a live that the Canadian TikToker, who I am hiding her face, did with Mocha, as you see on the left. And wow, is that Justine in her bonnet on the right? Hey, Justine, I see some hardware in his hands right now. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, who is that next to Justine in bed? Mr. Montana Mills. <laughs> night guys all right brother hey, good night yeah so um yeah you know what i'm saying that that shit made me a villain man you know what i'm saying that shit made me a oh, villain I um see. some hardware in his hands but wow that looks familiar a pinky ring a really expensive looking pinky ring. Listen, you you have to you have to take the hardware off. Well, you can put you it on to. my face. Night, guys. All right, brother. Hey, good night. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You know. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me get back there. Oh, this is really. I'm saying that that shit made me a villain, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit made me a villain. Um, <laughs> need some hardware in his hands, but listen, you you have to you have to take the hardware off. Well, you. It seems like he really likes that pinky ring. Flashing it left and right, kind of nice when another woman gave you the money to buy it. You put it on to. my finger, like you have to. <laughs> I'm trying. You you yeah. you want me to put my hardware in your finger? Yeah. You will rock this ring? Yeah. This is a big ring. Look like I won Super Bowl erupt B seven one eight says fire. Yeah, bro. Listen, Mills, if we we'll do two different remixes, right? If me and you could go up against I'm ready P and Jay the Kiss, bro. I bro, I'm ready for that. Yo, you, legends. You, you set it up, we legend. knock it down. That's it. Bro. I'll set it up. All right. <laughs> I got you. You set it up? <laughs> You set it up a little bit. You guys are amazing. Thank you. I'm hey, Golson Ring again. So proud of you guys and so excited. Thank you, thank you. 
I'm gonna let y'all finish that thing. Mo, holler at me later. Thank you. Nice was, to meet you. Nice meeting you guys. Have a good night, Chucky. Bye. Have a good night. night. Wow, it seems like Mocha is really, really a big fan of that ring that another woman gave him $7,000 to buy. So this Canadian TikToker got cold feet, decided not to go to Vegas. Nothing came out of it. Thankfully, she listened to her inner voice. Unfortunately, there are other women out there that didn't listen to their inner voice and we have one, you know, that feels horrible knowing that she's educated, intelligent, confident, and independent. And she was still taken for a ride. She didn't give him any money, but, you know, she, like, she was emotionally involved with him. I guess she really thought that there was going to be a relationship. She feels lucky that she got out of it without any financial damage. But hey, there's emotions involved too. Just because Mocha a.k.a. Lydell Birch, didn't financially scam all of these women. Hey, he was playing with emotions as well. And he did financially scam a lot. Trust me, there are more than not in this bunch. There are a lot that are saying, thank goodness I didn't give him any money, that I listened to my inner voice. But unfortunately, Mocha knows how to pick them. He picks them vulnerable. He has a type. He has a type within a certain age group. Let's just say Mocha knows how to pick them. The ladies love Mocha and Mocha loves their cash. So out of the Facebook group dedicated to the victims of Mocha, the messages started flowing in. And they, they're victims all over. And Mocha, his MO seems to be wanting women to have his baby. Woman that he hasn't even met. Woman he's only talking to online. Telling them, I want you to have my child. Like, dude, come on. And also, apparently, he's into threesomes. And he's talking to these women online and trying to talk them into having threesomes when he comes to visit them in their cities. I've seen messages that just makes me want to pour eye bleach on my eyes. And it's like, dude, come on. So more messages from women once they've seen this Facebook group and they realize what's going on, they reach out to the admin. I have been reached out to multiple women about what Mocha, AKA Lydell Birch has done to them personally or their friends. So now Mocha is also a frequent contributor, unintentionally of course, of another Facebook group. This one is called, Are We hmm, the Same Guy, Las Vegas? And I'm not saying the whole name of the group, but you just, use your imagination are we seeing the same guy are we screwing the same guy are we dating the same guy i don't know but mocha is a frequent flyer in this group guys the earliest post and let me tell you i scrolled this group until my eyes crossed august 2022 this guy is a douche okay women comparing stories asking each other, do you know him? Oh, yes, I'm dating him. Oh, yes, I was talking to him. Yes, I was dating him. So this original post that you see, August 8th, 2022, the original poster 12 weeks ago put under her post, I had to delete my comment. Somebody on here screenshot it to him and sent it, screenshot it, and sent it to him, and now I am in an unsafe situation. Please be advised not to impose anything or anything personal on here. So apparently, Mocha got wind that he was in this group, found out who posted him, and contacted her. So just saying. Now, the stories kept coming, like this one 
from a young woman in England who met him in 2019, dated him for two years. And basically he swindled her out of a bunch of money for his legit businesses, including his home, barbershop, etc. She believed he was legit and he swindled her. She has gone after him, legal action. He refuses to respond. This is her statement that she provided me. Check out my word on the street reality.com article. Mocha is a big fat scammer part two for more. But this is basically her statement on what Mocha did to her. Now, Mocha, his scamming and deceitfulness has gone so far that, and I hate to say this because I know she is probably watching, it has driven a woman to the edge of losing her sanity. I spoke to a woman. She had businesses. She had money. She had everything together. She met Mocha. And Mocha ruined her financially. Mocha ruined her emotionally. Mocha fucked with her feelings, fucked with her heart, fucked with her mind, fucked with her money. And basically, she is homeless right now. And the woman is, and I hate to say this because she is probably watching me, a little bit on the wackadoodle side. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And Mocha drove her to be on the wackadoodle side. So I'm going to share with you guys, okay, this real from her and it is just kind of it, it's just kind of insane i mean it is it's just it's just a little insane but i'm going to share it with you guys okay so we have this real and check this out. This is kind of crazy stuff, guys. Who the fuck is you? I did this for Trish. And now I'm richer than you are. Who is this bitch made as? Yeah. So I hate to say this, but Mocha knows how to pick them. And this woman is was very vulnerable. And he basically drove her to the edge. And she believes that Mocha practices witchcraft and did a vex on her. But I believe that Mocha saw an opportunity, saw that she had money and took advantage. And it's sad and disgusting. Now, did you know that someone wrote a book? A woman wrote a book called Kira's Journey. It's about a woman who is suffering through a toxic breakup with a toxic man. And she writes a journal and it's basically her journal entries about how she deals with her breakup with this man. And it takes her, I believe 250 something days before she's finally fully able to let this man go. And she details every day, the date, and, you know, whether they had contact and how she feels and the man's reactions and how he treats her. So, um, like the author says, though Kira is a fictional character in this book, she can very well be you. When writing this journal, I took some personal experiences and combined them with Kira's to bring life the feeling of hopelessness, heartbreak, betrayal when we feel when we are in a relationship and don't understand the actions of our partner or the reason why they are acting that way. She dedicates this book. Lastly, to one of my best friends, my champion and forever supporter, Lydell Birch. You know, you ignite the fire within my soul that allows me to create magic. Without you, I would not have gotten on this boat that has been patiently waiting for me. Thank you for believing in me. God bless always. I really hope that Lydell Birch did not fleece this woman out of money. 
thinking that he would help her get her book published on a wider scale. And I really hope that their relationship was as pure as she writes about in her little preface here, because it really would break my heart to think that Mocha would be such a douchebag to take advantage of an author who simply wants to have her, her writing exposed to the world. I feel as a writer, I feel her, but knowing that Mocha could have possibly taken advantage of her, no. Now, moving on, it seems like Mocha doesn't only try to take advantage of women. We have this young rapper that I've been trying to get a hold of, guys. Trust me. I found a current Instagram account. I DM'd him on there. No response. But I will not give up. And if I do get his story, I will bring it to you guys. But I'm going to bring you the video that I did find. And he was not happy with Mr. Mocha on this one. So check this out. Mary Pan screenshot it for me because she bleeped out all of the slurs, and I don't know how to do that. So shout out to Mary Pants for doing that for me and posting it on her Instagram because I don't know how to do things like that. You guys know I'm really low tech here. So here we have Mr. Mocha and this young So rapper. just understand where I'm coming from. I wake up this morning, my shit is gone. I log in, it says my shit was deleted. Last login, Paradise, Nevada. Who else got my shit in Paris, like Paradise, Nevada? You, nigga. At that studio. Our studio. My name's on the lease, dog. Stupid. And you want to act like it's yours. You want to take ownership. You want to tell everybody because that's who you, that's what you wanted to do. You wanted to tell people you bought my car for me, but really I bought my car. You want to tell people you bought my motorcycle for me, but I still told the world you bought my motorcycle for me. Bro, let's not talk about the flex that we that we did to try to make the world look at you as a as a head honcho. Really deep down, you ain't shit. You small fry, nigga. And it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. You deleted my shit. It's cool. Y'all, sushi nigga, that's cool. Mind your business, though. You know what I'm saying? Mind your fucking neck. Yo, man, it's so it's so sad that it comes to this, but yo, Mocha Blast, you're a bitch-ass nigga, you know that. How you gonna log into my album at 45 West Reno, Las Vegas, Nevada, nigga, and delete my shit? Is that how much you really hate a nigga? How much you really don't want a nigga win? The same person that you told, you told the whole world. I was your protege. You told the whole world. Because you know you couldn't have done that shit without me, nigga. The studio I built, you walking on floors I built with my bare hands, you bitch, pussy ass. N Yo, you really gonna delete my album, bro? That that's how much you really hating you? Forty years old, bro. I'm twenty four years old, bro. Go the fuck up, n you're a pussy ass. N you're a bitch made. N no one fucks with you. You don't sell drugs. You don't really get money, n bitch ass. N wow. So sounds like somebody is. Not happy with Mr. Mocha at all. Whoa. Saying he doesn't get money. He doesn't sell drugs. He's a bitch ass. I wonder where he gets his money from. Is it the ladies love Mocha and Mocha loves their cash? I don't know. Just saying. But yo, this dude sounds pissed the fuck off. What do you think? So Mocha may appear on a couple of magazine covers and actually if you look in the comments on one of the posts someone is asking him when are you going to pay me the money you owe me interesting but hey he appears on a couple of magazine covers he wants you guys to follow him on snapchat he's in the gym boxing out his feelings looking forward to going back you know to turkey and doing that whole tour thing but you know something? The ladies love Mocha and Mocha loves their cash. Just saying. All the evidence seems to be there. The worms keep spilling. They keep coming every day. The worms keep coming. So Mike, I want to ask you again. Do you still think it's a false narrative? We could be adults. We could agree to disagree. But there's no reason. 
to go all crazy, you know, send a DM. Hit me up. We could talk like adults. Just saying. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think Mocha is a big fat scammer? Do you think the ladies love Mocha, but Mocha just loves their cash? Do you think that he's just planting false seeds of hope, selling dreams, where all he wants to do is just collect the cash and move on? Let me know what you think. Drop me a comment. Thank you so much for watching me. Please subscribe if you don't already. Hit that like button and share my video with a friend or 10. Check out my article on wordonthestreetreality.com for more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.